Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. And unlike my normal videos where I try to show the positive side of nature, today I've got a really sad story. Behind me is the River Wensum, and recently I've been following a local otter trying to get some amazing footage and I've had some really, really great encounters. However, this morning, unfortunately, the otter has been found dead in a crayfish trap. Traps like this are designed to catch crayfish, but unfortunately with such a large entrance hole, they often catch species they don't mean to. Can you imagine being this otter, getting through this little hole and getting stuck underwater and slowly drowning? What a terrible way to go. Traps like this are illegal in Norfolk, and if you see one in the river, you should report it to the Environment Agency. This otter was a young female, and only a few days before her body was found, I'd been filming her along the same stretch of the river. Otters can have very large territories, sometimes ranging as far as 20 miles along rivers and watercourses in order to find enough food. This one seems to have been able to find plenty in the areas around Norwich as she was regularly seen by walkers and other people who used the river. Everyone who I spoke to who had seen her loved the fact that such a wild and often elusive species had set up home so close to the city. This turned out to be her downfall. Otters are fully protected under both EU and UK law and to catch, disturb, injure or kill one in this country is illegal. This otter dying in such a horrific way is not only unethical, the person who set the trap has also broken the law. In the 1970s, otters almost became completely extinct in the UK. This was caused by high quantities of pesticides in our waterways, but thanks to tighter restrictions on pesticide use and higher levels of protection, they have made a comeback across the country. This is a great sign of progress and shows how with a little change of attitude and legislation, species can be saved from the brink of extinction, if only we are willing to accommodate them. Now although this animal suffers such a grim fate, it's amazing that they're here in this city in the first place. Now there is something that you and everybody else can do to make it easier for wildlife to survive alongside us. If you see litter, if you see traps, if you see anything that could possibly endanger your local wildlife, then take action, clean it up, report it to the relevant authorities, and you can make a difference to wildlife in your area. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.